Hi everyone and welcome back to another Nielsen Networking video. This is going to be a quick video on one of the most powerful ways you can secure your VirtualBox virtual machines. This means your Kali Linux VM, your Windows VM, any VM that you have set up inside of VirtualBox. And of course, I'm talking about, in case the title didn't give it away, VirtualBox snapshots. And the first thing we need to do to utilize the VirtualBox snapshot feature is, of course, we need to go ahead and open up VirtualBox. So while that's opening up, a quick definition on what VirtualBox snapshots are is they are a powerful and easy to use, and they're free because it's part of VirtualBox, feature that allows you to save a virtual machine in its current state that can then be used to restore that virtual machine to the point in, at which the snapshot was taken. Uh, and that, this means at any point in the future, you can restore that virtual machine to that state of the snapshot, no matter how long or how many changes have been made since that snapshot was taken. This is extremely help, helpful because let's say you go out, you take a snapshot because you know you're going to make some configuration changes. You go out and you completely hose your uh, Kali Linux installation. And you're like, oh, snap, I got to reinstall, right? Because that's what you do. You reinstall. No, 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 you don't. What you do is you restore from that snapshot you took before you made those changes. And guess what? You can roll back to that state your virtual machine was in minutes seconds really versus a complete rollback and reinstall using a backup which could take you know a half an hour hour days depending on what you did and when the last backup you had was so that's how critical these snapshots are that's a no-brainer there's really no excuse not for taking them all right that's my minute and a half definition of why they're important and what it is now with that out of the way let's get to actually using the snapshot feature and there's two ways to do it you can actually do it from within inside the virtual machine while it's running or if you want, you can do it outside from this view. And what you would do is, if you wanted to do it out here, you would go to Snapshots. And as you can see, I already have one here. That's why you're seeing this. If you didn't have one here, it would just say Current State. And you know, we'll take one here so it's a little less confusing. Um, but why I had one here was because I had actually practiced what I preached earlier, and I took a snapshot before I made some changes to my Kali Linux box. So anyways, going back to the Windows 10 box, we'll take a snapshot here. Super easy to do. You just click Take Snapshot and name it. I'm just going to say Snapshot for Video, and then you hit OK. And there you go. It even tells you when it was taken. And if I were to want to restore from this, I would just hit Restore. But first, let's go out and blow something up on it. So I'm going to boot up my Windows 10, and I'll come back to you. Okay, now we are inside. So now we need to commence breaking something. So let's think about this. Let's say we decided it would be a good idea to add some Windows features. So we're going to go to the control panel here. And actually, I don't even know if this will have it because I think this is a Windows 10 Home Edition. Let's check it out. Oh, it does. All right, so we need IIS on our Windows Home and we need an FTP server for sure. Um, what else do we need in here? You know, oh, we need Telenet for sure, and a TFTP client. All that stuff sounds really important to have. Um, and we'll hit OK, and we'll let it go ahead and install. OK, so apparently it has made the changes, so we'll close out of here, and then let's just check to see if it actually, let's just check if IIS actually installed here. Oh, and it did, awesome. All right, so let's open up IIS Information Manager here just to verify that it actually works. And apparently I opened it uh, twice. Okay, so it actually did. So we have a full version of IIS running right here, um, which we clearly don't need on our Windows 10, which you know we installed just for lab. So what we're also gonna do, let's just go ahead and let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and do hidden. Okay, so we've made enough configuration changes. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and as you can clearly see, I'll even do a reboot here. So when it comes back, you can see that the state holds. I'm going to go ahead and restart it here. Okay, I just put in my password, log in. And there you go. And as you can see right away, the changes we made to the taskbar are stuck. So let's check if uh, IS is still in here. And it is. So all of our changes stuck. We're still in a position where obviously now we've we've enabled a bunch of vulnerabilities because I'm assuming the version of IIS on here has some vulnerabilities on it, uh, and we just we enabled FTP and we we downloaded a TFTP client. We did we had a bunch of stuff we don't need, um, but we do have some Spotify if we need to listen to some music. But anyways, all jokes aside, what we're gonna do now is 
we're going to go ahead and shut this thing down. Well, actually, before I shut it down, let me show you. There is one other way you could actually take a snapshot, and you could do it from right in here. So if I wanted to, I could do that, and then I could do, let's just say, after changes. Okay, so we'll take this over here. It's going to tell me it's doing it, and we're good. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down, and then we'll try to restore it. Okay, since we took two snapshots, there's going to be two restore points. And as you can see, they even give you the time right here. So we took this one after we made the changes. So we're going to leave that. Normally, I would say we would delete that. But what we can do is we can actually restore from before we made any changes. And then you could actually then restore back to after you made the changes if you wanted to. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to restore the first snapshot we took. And I'm not going to leave this checked. I'm going to uncheck this because we already have a snapshot of the current state after the changes. That's what that's saying. If you were going to revert back, do you want to make sure, or do you want to take a snapshot before we revert back? And I don't, I don't usually do that because when I'm reverting back, I want to go back for good usually. So we're going to hit restore and we should be back. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and I'll go over here and we're just going to start it up. Okay. And we're in and right away, you can see all these annoying things are down here are, are back. Uh, and let's just check if IIS is in there. And it looks at me like, what are you talking about? Not there. Telenet's not installed, the client's not installed, TFTP client not installed. So we're good. This is exactly as we wanted it to. So we're cool there. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down again. Okay, now we're down. Now let's say just for whatever reasons you wanted to go back to that state we left it in where we made the changes and we added IS and we added the TFTP and the Telenet client. All you would do is go restore here. I'm not going to do the box again. And we're going to hit restore. And we're going to open it up again. And it's going to restore it. And as you can see here, all the changes I made are back. And just like that. So that's how quickly you can go back and forth if you have multiple changes. I usually don't do that. I only usually take a snapshot, make the changes. If I'm happy, then I delete the snapshot and take a fresh one once I've you know made sure that I'm happy with the current environment. So that is how you use snapshots. I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down one last time. And then I'm just going to delete all the snapshots. I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll get this video done. Okay, so we are done. What we're going to want to do is, again, I'm going to restore back to the original place I was. I'm going to go all the way up to the top of the, the tree here at 1106 AM. And I'm going to hit restore. I'm going to uncheck this, do that. And then what you're going to do is I'm going to go here and do delete. And I'm going to say delete. And as you can see, we need to delete it twice because we took two snapshots. Remember, we took the original one and then we took the one inside the virtual machine. So we need to delete both of these. And now we have no snapshots. So if I were to go make changes, I need to remember to make a take a snapshot. So that's going to cover snapshots. They are free to use. They don't cost you anything. They cost you a little bit of space, but even that's minimal. I would highly suggest you incorporate these in any um, system changes you're making. They're, they're, it's a no-brainer. You saw how quick it was. And that's a wrap for snapshots. So if you have liked this video and you have liked the content, please smash that like button for us. Do us a favor. We would greatly appreciate it. If you want to be a part of future content and be alerted when we put up new content, please go ahead and subscribe. We would uh, appreciate that as well. So I hope you have a great day and take care.